two back in two minutes. This will be a challenge starting the timer now. If you're in Southern Arizona, say on the 10 freeway, it would behoove you to visit the artsy town of Tubac, known as the place where art and history meet. And there's a substantial amount of both in this town. For the art scene, just park your car, it's all free and start walking. There's fantastic art everywhere. Whether you're into painting, sculptures, photography, there are numerous galleries and the local artists are incredibly friendly. We are in this cool gallery called Gallery Graham. And these are the owners. Virgil Graham. Virgil Graham. Valerie Graham. Valerie Graham. Yes. This gallery is awesome. You gotta come in here and visit these guys. We'll have a little chat and I'll tell you where to go. Sweet. All of this is surrounded by a fascinating history. Take a self-guided tour of the Tubac Presidio State Historic Park, Arizona's first state park. It gives you great insight in how the town developed. Also the first newspaper of Arizona, the Weekly Arizonian, was published here in 1859, right here in Tubac. Check this thing out. Look at that, Washington Press. And then look at this guy back here. He's like, what? To McCockery National Historical Park, just three miles south, a melting pot of cultures, native, American, Spanish. The mission is the main attraction here. And it was interesting to learn how the cultures blended and thrived right here in the Santa Cruz River Valley. Just south of Tubac. Just a few miles. Just a few miles. Oh yeah for food. A sandwich at Tubac Deli and coffee shop is a great lunch stop. Looking for a late afternoon siesta stop? Get chips, guacamole, and a margarita at Soto's Outpost. It's always a good time. And for dinner, maybe Elvira's or Stables Restaurant at the Golf Resort. The food never disappointed anywhere in Tubac. I would suggest staying at least one or two nights to truly experience Tubac. Our friend Rich stayed at the Tubac Inn, perfectly situated in the middle of town, but there are plenty of other accommodations. We stayed three nights at Sunflower Camp in our RV, a 2022 leisure travel van wonder. It was dusty, it was bumpy, but all in a good way. Happy birthday, Rich. Happy birthday, Rich. Happy yeah, birthday, sure. Rich. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it totally feels like you're in nature, and that's what we loved about it. And the cherry on top at Sunflower Camp was a wonderful community of short and long-term RVers and campers. Everyone was friendly and felt like family by the time we left. All the people we met there, hi, we'll see you again next time. And if you're into birding, I have never heard or seen so many varieties of birds. It took me three days to finally capture a photo of a cardinal. Ah, I went over the two minutes, but it's tough when a small town like this has so much to offer. Come to Trueback for the art and history, but also come for the people, the locals. They are the nicest people you will ever meet. Like, share, subscribe, you do you. Don't forget to smile. So Rich, what do you think of Tumacockery National State Park? Should people come and visit? I wanna go home.